So I found out this week something about fertilization that just made me real rethink the way that we're all taught it, which is that, you know, I was always taught that the sperm with like by like the rock as a sperm <laughs> what? like like chasing the other sperm oh, it's like the, the fastest sperm, sperm is the gets one to that, the egg yeah. and then it's like the egg is just sort of this like complacent thing in it it's like it's like sort of how sexism is seeped into science like that is honestly what i was taught mm. but really like doing my research and also new research it's like eggs attract the sperm to them using chemo attractants and then different eggs chemo attractants ad- um, attract different sperm and also the egg decides which sperm fuses based Ooh. on proteins so it's like when you think about it it's like okay <laughs> if you really stop and think actually about it. <laughs> it's the sperm that is more complacent quote unquote in this in the act of fertilization and is the egg that is attracting and deciding who goes in i think that's just interesting because it's like the actual science goes against the way that we put biases like the characterizations we give to these things exactly which are all obviously uh, Male reflections reference? of oh. our beliefs in gender roles yeah it's like it's just like it, to me it was really obvious it was really telling and i thought it was like when i think about what i learned this week it really like stuck out like that was a learning moment i found myself telling people that and it's like it's interesting and so i I don't know. I think that's just something that's worth knowing being like, it's not the rock as sperm, Jack mm-hmm. punching the other sperm and then the strongest one gets it. And then you, my friend, are the strongest sperm. <laughs> just like, that's literally not true. Anyways, that's what I learned. <laughs> no, that's really cool. I mean, it's an interesting conversation around just, just science in general and how we contextualize information. We've talked about before. I won't say too much on it, but how the view of Neanderthals was for a long time is these kind of like dumb creatures until people started being like oh it's like in white people too like actually we realized they're really smart and they use lots of tools and all these things as those studies came out so i think it it does go to show our contextualization contextualization of science can change over time and sometimes a fact can be pursued like perceived in different ways yeah for sure yeah